When thinking about cities you want to visit in Spain, Logroño might not be top of mind. But if you like eating and drinking, particularly wine, you might want to check out what this city has to offer. Hola, this is Alex. Welcome to my vlog where I talk about awesome things to do in Madrid and in Spain and about living abroad in general. If you haven't yet, do subscribe and click that notification bell so you know exactly when my videos go live. Today I want to talk to you about the city of Logroño. I learned about the charms of this city through my friend Marie V, who is half Filipino and half Spanish, and she goes to Logroño at least once a year because she still has family there that she likes to visit. Marie V invited me to go and stay with her and her lovely grand aunts when she went to visit them. We decided to save some money and go by bus to go to Logroño and the 5 hour bus trip was pleasant enough. But when we got to the bus station and it was time to get off the bus, I tried to stand up but I couldn't do it easily because I was literally stuck to my seat. And then when I looked there was some freshly chewed chewing gum that was stuck on my seat. I guess that's part of the dangers of traveling cheap. The city of Logroño is the capital of Spain's La Rioja region, which is very famous for its wine. The sidewalks of Logroño even have grapes as part of their design because this is really what they're known for. It's not a big city with a population of about 150,000. It has its share of artwork and beautiful architecture that you can see all over the city. It also has a lot of green spaces and places to sit down and relax. Just like so many other places in Spain, you can see so many bars and restaurants all over the place. And this, for me, is the very best reason to visit Logroño. It just has so many good places to eat and drink. It's really helpful when you have a local guiding you in a new place because Marie V really knew how to find the best bars in the city. Wine is cheap here because the region produces so much of it. In fact, the cheapest glass of wine I ordered at a bar was around 70 cents, which is approximately 50 Philippine pesos. That's such a good deal. The average bar sells them for around 1 euro 50, which is still a pretty good rate. Cocktails that sell for 7 to 14 euros in Madrid would sell for about 4 to 8 euros in Logroño. There are a lot of bars that offer excellent pinchos, which are also referred to as tapas in some other places. Pinchos are little plates of food that you eat while socializing and while drinking. We went to Calle Laurel, which is the most famous street of pinchos bars in the city center. The place gets so packed with so many people standing inside the bars, outside the bars, and even on the street itself. Because I'm pescatarian, Marie V couldn't bring me to the bars that specialized in meat tapas. But that wasn't really a problem because there were so many others to choose from. Our first stop was Bar Soriano. I'm here in Bar Soriano, the most famous bar here in Calle Laurel. And they're known for their grilled mushrooms. A lot of other places offer champignones too, but Bar Soriano is the most famous for making them. The mushrooms were just so fresh and turnover was so quick because there were so many people who wanted to have a taste of these mushrooms. Next was La Taberna del Laurel, which is famous for a classic Spanish tapa, patatas bravas. The potatoes were fried just right and the brava sauce was delicious. Then we moved to La Taberna de Tio Blas, which had a lot of croquetas that didn't have any meat in them. One special thing that they offer in this bar is their red wine slushy. I'd never had this before, I'd never seen it in any other place, and it was so refreshing. We then proceeded to D.O. Laurel, and we stayed there for a pretty long time, mostly because we could find seats at the bar, but also because the bartender made a mean Aperol spritz. This bar offered deconstructed tortilla de patatas, which had extra things in them. For example, cheese, there were also onions and mushrooms and even octopus. Everything was so good. After that, Marie V took me to another street so that we could have some pinchos of cuttlefish. 
The bar was La Cueva de Floren on Calle San Juan, and the cuttlefish is really a must try. Finally, we went to Calle Albornoz so that we could go to Bar Sebas. The specialty of this bar is the classic tortilla de patata or Spanish omelette. In all the places that we went to, the wine was always good. Speaking of wine, a visit to Logroño wouldn't be complete without a tour of a winery. Marivi's uncle Adolfo took us to a winery in the village of Badaran, which is around a 35-minute drive from Logroño. The winery was more than 100 years old, and it was called the winery of David Moreno. After watching a short video that explained the history of the winery, we went around and looked at barrels upon barrels of wine. There was an explanation of the different stages of winemaking, and we were also given a sample of their wine. There was also a display of various contraptions used in the winemaking process, some of them very, very, very old. At the end of the winery tour, you end up in a little shop, of course, where you could buy their wine, their wine gadgets, and even grape-based beauty products. You could also buy food items that go well with wine and other kinds of souvenirs. After the tour, we drove off and went to a nearby bar where we ordered David Moreno wine so that we could enjoy a little more of the wine from the winery that we had just visited. Marie V and I stood by the bar while her uncle went out for a while. And then when he returned, we saw that he was with David Moreno, the owner of the winery that we had just come from. No wonder Tio Adolfo recommended that winery when we said we wanted to go on a wine tour because his friend owned it. Apparently, they had met in Barcelona years ago and they had kept in touch since then. Which among the pinchos of Logroño would you like to try? Do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, ciao chicos!